This is part two. It gets crazy. Many, many, many babies and children being murdered. But not before they were tortured and not before their blood was being drunk. For me, the end of a ritual would be I would be put in a coffin that was made to measure for me and I would be buried in the ground. Some days I didn't know when, how long I would be there. Other days I would just be chucked back in the dungeons and tortured some more, which was actually more the norm in this place because they had to guarantee my silence. So I would be sent back down after these mass rituals for more torture, more torture, more being chained to the wall, more being sent to the man and the woman. The other thing they do to mess with people and to make sure we never stand up in court is they have torturers in judges' uniforms. But let me tell you, they're real judges. So at the end of mass rituals, if they said to you, go to the judges, you knew where you had to go. I'd have to go off to a little hut where these three judges were. And they would talk to me for hours, speaking in my ear while another one was torturing me to guarantee my silence. Let me tell you, these people in here will do whatever it takes. People have been murdered for speaking out, but I will not live my life in fear. These people will not take one more day from me. And when I decided to speak out against them, I knew that I was taking a huge risk. But I'm not afraid of them anymore. There's nothing else they can do to me. What matters now is the children that are still in there, that is still happening to. They're the ones that matters. And if you think for one moment that your children are safe, then more fool you. There is not one child on this planet that is safe. Because trust me when I tell you they need that adrenochrome. They are addicted to that adrenochrome. It is the most powerful and addictive drug on this planet. And they will do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to keep their supply going. Please know that what I am going to tell you now is very difficult for me. I was tortured beyond imagining, so I would never speak of what I saw. Please bear with me, guys, with this one. You got this, babe. The Queen and Prince Philip, and once again, let me tell you something. I'm speaking from my own experiences. I know many, many survivors of the royals. Many. But I will not, without anybody's permission, ever repeat their testimonies. I have two today that I'm going to tell you about, but right now I'm talking about me. The Queen and Prince Philip are not human. I have been mocked, I've been laughed at, I've been attacked, I've been through every single thing you can imagine by trying to get this truth out there. I couldn't give a flying fuck what you react like. I am going to tell you the truth. They are reptilians. They shapeshift from human form into lizard form. I saw this with my own eyes many, many times. And trust me when I tell you they are the most evil, evil creatures that you could possibly imagine on this planet. When I was taken out for rituals in this place, these places, the queen would come out last because she was the master of ceremonies. Just like she leads this country and Prince Philip is always second, she would come out last. She was the master of ceremonies. And she would walk out and there would be a glitching process that goes on. And she would turn around and stare me straight in the eyes if it was my turn on the concrete slab. And she would make me watch her change. Her face would change first. <coughs> You are very brave, my dear. You are very brave, Jenny. Jehovah will bless you for it. Jehovah will have them accountable and they will die. Doing well, sister.
This is crazy. Right, guys. Their video has paused, but you can still hear her. A bit more courage now. Go on, baby. Every single time. She would then change in physical form and she would become very, very tall. I can't tell you how tall, I don't know. But very, very tall. Very tall and very thin. Prince Philip would already be in reptilian form. I never saw him change from human to reptilian. I just used to see him change back, but it was all about her. She would come out and everybody had done the blood drinking and she would then change. She would glitch. I want you to know that this is not easy for me. You know that, but this is also something that I wish was not true because this is a whole other level of what the world needs to know. You need to wake up to the fact that everything you think you know to be true is a lie. Everything you think to be true is a lie. I'm going to... I'm going to read out, hold on a second, um, yeah. I'm going to read testimony of a survivor of satanic ritual abuse. She's also a survivor of the royals and many, many others. But I need my glasses, hold on. <laughs> Brave survivor. My name is Elle. That's not her name, okay? She's anonymous because she's still too scared. I am a survivor of satanic ritual abuse from South Africa with a royal bloodline who was subjected to satanic ritual abuse, trafficking and horrendous tortures and abuse under the project. Now, this is what I want you to learn about today. The project that's been run for decades by the senior royals alongside Joseph Mengali. In 1944, with the help of Mengali, funded in part by Prince Philip and King George VI, the birth of a very evil project was initiated, where thousands of embryos were scientifically formed with very specific ovum and sperm cells spliced together. These ovum and sperm cells were donated from particular senior royals, which were frozen and then at planned times over a period of approximately 30 years, 
planted into specially selected wombs of generational satanic families across the globe. I want you to really think about this after today. I want you to hear this back and think about, think about what I'm telling you here. These artificial wombs, they are set up. I think there's actually something online now you can actually go and have a look. They're mass rooms filled with artificial wombs. And this is what they're doing because they want their bloodline kept. They want their bloodline pure for adrenochrome. Elle goes on to say, this is where her courage really comes in. I am one of those embryos that survived. Despite, and this is her fight back now, despite your efforts to make me into a mind-controlled slave via countless rituals since birth, counting on extreme trauma so I would not remember to tell or be too afraid to tell. Not anymore. Elle's finding her voice. Yes. yes! Many more of us have survived across the globe and have become warriors of the truth. And with God's grace, we'll keep standing for the truth and light to overcome any and all darkness. L, which I'm going to go and tell you now, because I want you to have as much truth about the truth of this planet as I can possibly give you by the end of my speech. L goes on to tell you about the truth about what happened to Lady Di. She knew her personally. In fact, because of the bloodline and the embryo situation, they were related. And she wants to honour her because she did try and fight for the children. Since Lady Di can't speak out for herself anymore, having brutally suffered at your hands too via satanic ritual abuse and other abuse and harassment, I would like to pay tribute to her and all those children, babies and adults that suffered in similar fashion, who she helped to protect in standing for the ultimate truth and ultimately died for. Elle told me she was killed in a ritual. Her authentic love and tenacity for the truth will always live on as a testimony and legacy that will keep encouraging the rest of us survivors to overcome by the grace of God. Elle was also witness to the Queen Mother, the Queen and Prince Philip shape-shifting into reptilians. This survivor is finding the courage to speak publicly now, but in a group where she is safe that I've set up. But I'm sure one day she'll be stood like I am, like so many of us are. This world is not what you think it is. It's lies. And I'm going to now just read you one more testimony. This person also That's wants to remain, all I remain can anonymous. She right gets now. threats. That's all I can stomach right now because it get crazy. It get crazy. I don't even know what to say right now. So that's my video on SRA and how it's the the country, the world is being ran by vampires, Edomites. Murderers, psychopaths, killers, you know the deal. You know we living in the pit of hell, so shalom.